Everett Wallace Jr. first applied to Guinness for a world record zinnia of 8 feet 8 inches, which was certified August 31, 2004, which was placed into the Guinness database but never appeared in the world record book itself. Upon receiving the first award certificate from Guinness, Wallace also noticed that the certificate of record failed to include Mrs. Melody Wagner, the co-grower of this record zinnia flower. In order to correct the certificate error, Everett Wallace was required to pay all travel expenses and accommodations for a Guinness World Researcher and Adjudicator to travel all the way from London, England to Wilmington, North Carolina to present a corrected certificate. When the adjudicator arrived and prior to the formal awards ceremony to present the corrected world record certificate, the Guinness adjudicator observed and certified that Everett Wallace and Melody Wagner had yet again broken a world record with a 12 foot 6 inches Lucky Lady Zinnia which was then certified November 16, 2004. This 12 foot 6 inch Zinnia record is the only one that appears in the Guinness World Book of Records 2006 and 2009 editions with a red star indicating a new world record. News coverage of the Guinness official presenting the certificate to Everett Wallace and Melody Wagner for their earlier 8 foot 8 accomplishment was then incorrectly reported in the news by the Guinness official as a newer 12 foot 6 record. Four years later, on October 23, 2008, Everett Wallace Jr. and Melody Wagner again broke the Guinness World Record by certifying a 12 foot 8 inch zinnia from Wallace's 65 year old seed stock known as My Lucky Ladies, passed down a generation from his belated mother. The 12 foot 8 record was entered into the Guinness Record Computer Database. As of August 2009, Everett Wallace Jr. and Melody Wagner have yet to receive a certificate for their latest record of 12 foot 8 nearly a year after the certification was made by Guinness and despite repeated attempts to contact the Guinness World Book of Records U.S. offices in New York which has failed to respond. Wallace and Wagner want their 12 foot 8 certificate that they have rightfully earned and they want the Guinness World Book of Records to correct and accurately report on all three world records they now hold for the world's tallest zinnias grown in Columbus County, Regalwood, North Carolina. Hello, my name is Dalton Dockery and I am uh, County Extension Director in Bladen County. Uh, I work with uh, NC State University and North Carolina A&T State University and through those universities we provide services to growers. And today I'm here on behalf of Everett Wallace and his lucky zinnias. Uh, several years ago I came out and took measurements when he was actually growing these zinnias to try to set the world record. And my purpose here today is for validity. Uh, he did receive two records, but he's challenging two other records that he should have gotten. Uh, my background is in um, agricultural education with a minor in horticulture. And basically the measurements that we did take on those two um, days are accurate and they are correct. This is Everett Wallace, Guinness World Book of Records holders for the world's tallest zinnia. I am Melody Wagner, co-grower of the 12 foot 8 world's tallest zinnia from the My Lucky Lady seed stock. It's been nearly a year and Melody and I have yet to receive the Guinness World Records certificate for our 12 foot 8 zinnia certified October the 23rd, 08. I have made repeated attempts to contact Laura Barrick at the Guinness U.S. offices in New York and get no response. Melody and I want the world record certificate from Guinness that is rightfully ours, and we want Guinness to correctly place all three of our records into the Guinness World Book of Records. We should have been eligible, in fact, for a fourth record, Senior, in 2004 when the Guinness adjudicator reviewed our record and overlooked our 9 foot 8 inch senior record and immediately certified the 12 foot 6 record. We should have been eligible to receive both the 9 foot 8 as well as the 12 foot 6 records at that time. An injustice has been made by the official Guinness World Records adjudicator for the world's tallest senior and we want the recognition that we deserve.